you at home. Maybe your husband is like, ah, let me help you with this one. Let me help you with this. You're like, no, 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 no. Don't worry, don't worry. Ah, what's it be? Don't worry. If I hear her, let him help you. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So today I want to talk to us women. Yes, this is my gender. Come. Take a seat and listen. I want to talk to us. I want to talk to even myself. You see, um, there is something about the women nature. And this is our nature. Sometimes I ask myself, is it a curse or is it a blessing? <laughs> Trust me, I don't even know at this point. Because a woman is strong. A woman is a builder. She is a changer. She thinks she can do everything. She's a superwoman. Yes, superwoman. <laughs> but I just want to talk about a few things that we women, we fail to realize early. First of all, as a woman, you are first a human. Human being. Before you became mama this person. Or Mrs. this person. See, if you are a single woman, enjoy your life. You understand me? Like, be happy in yourself. As much as marriage is a beautiful thing, marriage is not the heaven, no. You understand me? I just want to address a few things. Marriage is not in heaven. Be happy in yourself. You see this marriage that you want to run inside, so it will not even give you genuine happiness. It will not even give you true satisfaction. You have to be first happy in yourself as a woman. Stop seeking your completeness from a man. That is why many of us, eh? Depression is almost taking over us. Let me even talk about the aspect of children. You are a complete woman with or without children. This African adage uh, 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 is when you have a child, is the, is the, do you have this? I just don't know how this put it. Like, is your true, is woman would start from when you're having children. Now, lie. Even motherhood these days doesn't start from when you start having your own biological children. So, if you're a TCC mom, please, please. Take it easy on yourself. If Jesus come today, no go ask you how many children you get. You you get five. Stand stand here. You will go to heaven. You, you don't have any. You go to hell. No. When it comes to our role as wives and mothers, please take it easy because <laughs> you see those children, eh? That you are just running, running after hey, this one, this. I know it's not easy for us. It's an imbued nature that it's an in, impulse. We are just still running about doing this, doing that. My child is okay. My children, my hey, my son, my daughter. Are you fine? Hey, my daughter. Hey. Madam, easy. Take it one step at a time. It's okay if you're not able to meet up with a healthy dinner once in a while it's okay if you have to eat pizza outside it's okay if you cannot cook it's okay you know one thing i realized lately is that a lot of women we don't look after ourselves we don't i was watching an interview of um i think freda mata ex-wife she said something on that interview that caught my my attention she said her children i think they are abroad or so and she was already planning she was they were coming for holiday to come over to nigeria and then she called them and they were like okay she was like what are your plans she said all of them had plans for themselves they want to do this they want to go here they want to do that she said something that none of them included her in their plans not like, oh, I've put her this day to go out with you, mom. Or we're going to stay with you with this, that. 
all of them had different plans in one place or the other. And that was when she sat herself down and said, ah, <laughs> this is serious. So you see these children that you are just fighting after years. So it's good to look after your children. It's good to be concerned about them. But as you are doing that, be planning for yourself. Eh, Mama Ejirona, yeah, they talk to. Be planning for yourself, oh. Be planning for yourself. Children will grow up and they will live their lives. Especially here abroad. Hmm. If you see many wise people hmm, that are in old people's home, they are children, no, they are alive. But their children do not even come to visit them. Maybe one is in a very far place and the other is in a very far place. Their children don't even come and visit them. Now imagine myself, I have two children. A boy and a girl. I live in Italy. Tomorrow my son can decide to go and be in the UK. My daughter can say, oh, she wants to go to Canada. Am I not left alone? Oh, yes. I am left alone. Probably with my husband. Why some African parents will try to um, cage their children around them? That one, all the days they have, I don't think you can cage any child around you this day. Oh, no, I don't want you to school outside Benin. Oh, I don't want you to school outside Lagos. You can't cage children again like that. The way the world is going, you can't. So women, please, as you are taking care of your children, you are taking care of your husband, look out for yourself. When you are at home, Maybe your husband is like, ah, let me help you with this one. Let me help you with this. You're like, no, 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 no. Don't worry, don't worry. Ah, what if be not worry? If I hear her, let him help you. Don't be forming me, Mrs. Perfect. Don't be forming me. Eh, 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 the way I sweep, nobody sweeps like me. That's not true. At that moment, allow him help you. We, so in fact, some of us women, we are the cause of our depression. We are the cause of the fact that we are so stressed. I'm talking to myself too because sometimes when my husband helps me do something like ah, you know just don't remember. but at that moment he might not do it to your satisfaction but let him do it let him help you so men have stopped helping their wives you know why because when they do it the women will be like ah you don't do it where you can so they stopped no encourage him encourage him so you too can rest encourage him so you too can have some air for yourself it is not who suffer pass as a woman, that's what makes you a strong woman. No? no, I don't even know how come this African mentality of woman went so far away, so far, so far, so far, never be strong woman. No, see, eh, if you're in Nigeria now, because say for your brother, eh, you cannot employ house help. It's not laziness, it is not. If you can and you find a good one, please employ and get help. Especially if you're also a working class woman. That doesn't mean that you should not be an available mom. But anywhere you see help, someone is trying to render you help as a woman, as a wife. Your husband is wanting to help you with something. Allow him. Someone come around, they want to help you. Allow them. Allow them or may you for live long. <laughs> I don't talk my own no. So look out for yourselves please i'm begging you your mental health is very important so if you have not given this video a like please like it share and also subscribe to this youtube channel if it's your first time you will like it here <laughs> i'll see you in my next video bye